Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh, and today we are going to answer one more question from the UiPath RTA certification practice test. Before that, anyone who is very new, I hope you guys have taken advantage of the playlist that we have created on our channel, UiPath certification playlist. So hopefully you have gone through all the videos. Right now, let's see what should be the right answer for this question. A developer needs to read data from invoices and then input the extracted data into another another system. Each invoices can be processed separately and the order in which they are processed does not matter. Right, so the order in which you are going to process the invoices does not matter. That is the theme of your question. Which type of design is best suited for the automation? Are you going to go with iterative process, library, transactional process or linear process? What is your answer? For example, if you go with linear process. So linear process means what? Only when the top activity is completed then we'll move to the next one you know from top to bottom approach right linear process so we are not going to do that because here it clearly says the order does not matter okay how about iterative process iterative process means when you're looping through right iterative process but in the iterative process while you are processing the invoice for example for each loop right to just uh, get a hint of iterative process so you're looping through a set of data. Now, in any of the invoices, if there is an error, then your entire process is going to stop. Again, that is again going from top to bottom approach, right? Iterative process, but again, it is going to process in the order, right? Uh, library, it is not a relevant answer. The third option that we have is transactional process. So transactional process, when it comes, try to recall the RE framework structure right in the RE framework what happens let's say I'm processing the first invoice it you know it processed successfully in the second invoice if there is a business rule exception right so it will not get processed it will set as a business rule exception now let's say you are processing the third one which got processed in the fourth one the system did not respond the system did not respond so what would happen it will try to restart everything so here if you look at if there is any kind of exception happening your entire process is not stopping in a RE framework right it will continue to the end but again the order does not matter so from 1 to 10 invoices first one second third in the third if there is a problem no problem it will go to the fourth one fifth one sixth one right so it does not matter how it is processing right the order does not matter so the answer the correct answer for this would be transactional process okay so with this example you must have got a clarity that why the transactional process is the right answer so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such explanation in case you are looking for what is a linear process what is an iterative process what is a transactional process i also have a separate video on it you go to the video section of of our channel and then you search for that just type iterative and you will be able to find videos that i've created all right guys thank you so much we are going to meet again in our next content take care bye bye